Hello students, today we're going to take module 7a, same but different. Now, let's see our vocabulary. Number one, profile. I think that most of you know what the meaning of profile, like the profile picture of the Facebook or profile picture of your WhatsApp. So the profile, it means an outline of something, especially a person's face, as seen from one side, or short description of someone. Number two, factory. A building with machines where large quantities of goods are produced. Like the factory that um, you can find that they're making the milk, or Pepsi, Pepsi, whatever. So the factory is the building which has the machines to make the things that you're eating or something that uh, other of this. Bold, having no hair on your head. My grandfather is bold. Bold, it means that he doesn't have hair. Beard, hair that grows on a man's chin and cheeks. My teacher has a long beard. Of course, most of you know what the meaning of beard. Okay, most of men, they have the beard. Talent, natural skill or ability. Okay, so I think that we took it before. Talent, that this person is talent. So he can play uh, piano, for example, or his talent so he can draw. Okay, so talent, it means that you have the ability for something to do. Okay, wardrobe, furniture for storing clothes. Furniture for storing clothes. Okay, so this is the place that you're putting your clothes. In the late 20s, aged between 27 and 29 years old. In his mid 40s, aged between 44 and 46 years old. Mostage, hair that grows on man's upper lip. He has a black mustache. For sure, most of you know. Uh, that some men they have the most touch. Plump, it means rather fat. He's too plump. He eats too much food. Skinny, very, very thin. Skinny, it means very thin. Slim, it means attractively thin. She's slim. Okay? So the difference is skinny, it means this person is very thin. Maybe he's not caring about his health or he's not eating too much. But slim, attractively thin, it means that he is in a good health or his body in a good shape. So he's slim. Create, make or invent like that uh, the person who created or invented the lights you know thomas edison invented or created what the lights headscarf a piece of clothes you wear on your head i have a headscarf i wear it in winter so this is the clothes that you put on your head inventions this is the noun of invent the verb things that have never been made before mobiles are important inventions so somebody who created or invented the mobile phones that we're using now trilogy set of three related books films or plays 
written by the same person. So I have a person who wrote books and films and plays. So all of this work he did it by himself. Like the writer Nagib Mahfouz wrote a trilogy. So I have this person that is so famous. He wrote many books and these books they make it as films after this. Okay, let's see our synonyms. Shy, it means timid. Nutty, it means crazy. Eventually, finally. Cunning, crafty. Missy, untidy. And concentrate, this is messy, not messy, that is uh, the footballer that most of you know. No, this is messy, it means untidy, this person is messy, so he's untidy, he's not um, cleaning his place or his room or whatever. Brave, courageous, intelligent, clever, sociable friendly, charming, pleasant, transform into, change into. The antonyms, feel, bright, cunning, naive, skinny, plump, brave, cowardly. Okay, so pale, this face is pale, it means that uh, maybe he's sick or he's afraid of something, so his face becoming pale. So the opposite is bright, his face is good, he's bright. Cunning, that he's making playing tricks or he's cheating. The opposite is naive, this person doesn't know anything about this no he's honest and he's a good person so we can say that he's naive skinny okay the person that we said before in the vocabulary yes this person is skinny so thin the opposite is plump he's very fat this person is brave Okay, so he can help, he can defend of you. The opposite is cowardly. This person is maybe a little bit weak, so he can defend or he can help you for something. Okay, so this is module 7A. See you next in module 7B. Thank you.